Hello friends, welcome to Knowledge Inter once again. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about Azure Global Infrastructure. This is the next video in the series of our Azure video tutorials. In this particular video, we will look at Azure Global Infrastructure, things like regions, availability zones, its CDN locations, etc. And we'll try to understand that how does it differ from how AWS has done things, right? So that somebody who is trying to learn multiple clouds is able to really understand how things differ between these two. And this particular information would surely help you while you are architecting your solutions for your customers, right? So let us go ahead and get started. By the way, if you have not looked at other Azure videos from our channel, you can go ahead and find the link to the playlist in the description below. All right. So as we all know, these public cloud providers like Azure or AWS or Google Cloud, they have got their data centers around the world, right? Now, typically at any location, at any geographic location where they have got their data center, that's called a region, okay? So for an example, in India, Mumbai is a region. Now, Mumbai is a region, uh, you know, for AWS as well and for Azure as well. As you can see in this particular screen, uh, you know, we are showing that Azure has currently got 54 regions worldwide. Within India, if you see, there are three, West India, Central India, and South India, right? Now, the point is that how does this differ from the AWS thing? So region-wise, both are same, right? In both AWS and Azure, when you say a region, a region is basically a geographic location, probably a city, right, where they have got their data center. Now, thing is, AWS right from start had the concept of availability zones, right? So what does that mean? That means within a region, there would be multiple data centers, <coughs> right, which are grouped as something called availability zones. Now, the concept of availability zone is that one availability zone would be separated or isolated from the other availability zone in terms of all of its supplies, right? Which means whether it is network, whether it is power supply, it is cooling, all the things which are required to run a data center, from that perspective, one availability zone would be different or isolated from the other one. So because of that, the chances of two AZs failing at one time would be really, really less, okay? Now the point is, in order to ensure this, of course, they also would be, you know, uh, located at somewhat distant from each other, right? But they would be connected via private network connectivity that would be there, right? So basically, if I'm talking about AWS Mumbai region, and let's say there are two or three availability zones and that, all those two or three availability zones would be connected to each other using private network, right? Now, the concept of availability zone was not there in Azure from start, right? They started in a bit different way. So they only had regions and they did not have the concept of availability zone. Uh, we will talk about the concept of availability set in next video when we'll talk about virtual machines. So we'll not go there for now, but please understand that normally, you know, Azure had regions and one region was like one data center or basically maybe a collection of data centers, but at just one place, right? It's not that within a region, they had multiple data centers separated from each other, right? That way it was not there. So just for a moment, if you see, if I click on Azure, uh, you know, locations here, you can see these are the different uh, locations where Azure regions are there. So just for an example, if you if you uh, try to look at something like Asia Pacific, now within Asia Pacific, if you look at India, in India, they have got Central India, South India, and West India, so which is Pune, Chennai, and Mumbai. So three different cities within India. Now compare this with AWS, right? In AWS, you have got only one region in India currently, which is Mumbai. Now it's true that within Mumbai, you have got three availability zones at this time, but then, in case of a problem at Mumbai city as such, right? I hope it doesn't happen, but in case of a problem there, then you are at risk. So 
if you are architecting a solution you would think about uh, you know having your dr into another region right which is far from mumbai in that case now if you are there uh, on aws you would probably think about singapore because singapore is you know quite near to mumbai in terms of latency but if you are doing on azure you can even look at other regions within india right maybe your primary is mumbai which is in this case west india you may choose to keep south india as your dr right and that way if your primary uh, you know location for all your customers is india let's say if your customers are spread within this country you would be able to get a better uh, you know i would say better uh, experience in terms of latency so that's something bit bit different right so azure on one hand has got multiple regions within a geography that way they are ahead but then they did not have the concept of availability zones now azure brought the concept of availability zone some time back right so those of you who understand uh, aws availability zone same way you have got azure availability zone concept as well i also explained you what is an availability zone it's just like you know uh, within a region there can be multiple availability zones and mul and an availability zone should be thought as a data center two availability zones are isolated from each other in terms of all their supplies right but they are connected via private network and also latency between two az's within a region would be really really low you need to really test it but it would be just round trip would be there in few milliseconds so now the point is now azure has introduced availability zones as well and more and more regions have started supporting availability zones but at this point of time availability zones concept is not available in all the azure regions so if you look at this particular page and you scroll down you would be able to see that on this particular table they have given that which all regions currently support availability zone right so if you if you see here in americas you have got central us east us east us 2 west us 2 good for in asia pacific actually it's quite less i think in india if you see it doesn't support itself availability zone still so that's uh, that's kind of a disadvantage but yeah they are uh, you know uh, increasing this and surely more and more uh, regions would start supporting availability zone very soon so that is that is one difference which you should understand between aws and azure in that way but see azure has got some advantage there as well because they have got more number of regions within a particular geography that gives them you know an additional advantage i already talked to you the example of uh, of let's say india that within india you have got three different regions and hence if think of a scenario that you have a customer who is saying i want to deploy my infrastructure within the country right and then i also need to have a dr site within the country now if that is the case it is going to be a bit difficult to achieve this particular scenario in india right in us you have got let's say you know multiple data centers or basically multiple regions i should say uh, in case of aws right you have got north virginia you got california ohio oregon you have got many but within india you have got only one mumbai now if you are hosting a government website for example and they say that okay let let's keep mumbai as the primary region but i also want a dr region available within the country and i do not want to move my data outside of country then what are we going to do that time it is going to be a bit difficult with aws right i mean every cloud provider has got their own advantages but i'm just trying to tell you that in which scenarios azure is going to be better right because in this case now within india they have got three different regions so you can go ahead and keep uh, mumbai as the primary and maybe chennai or pune as the secondary depending on your requirement so that's a really good one we'll quickly talk about pops as well pop is points of presence part of cdn service right so we do have a detailed video about um, aws cloudfront you can go ahead and see how can you go ahead and create cloudfront distribution how can you serve static and dynamic content using that what are its advantages and all of that uh, you will see the link in the at the top right or in the description check, uh, section now here is the thing if you see amazon cloudfront which is amazon cdn service they have got like 200 
points of presence across the world right and uh, uh, amazon implements its own cdn service right so they have got 200 points of presence now look at uh, azure in case of azure the uh, the cdn service is like of course provided by microsoft in addition to that it is also provided by verizon and akamai now these are two different organizations so they have partnership with microsoft and they are able to i mean you can go ahead and use their cdn service via azure that is possible now so on on one front uh, yes they have got multiple partners so which one to choose really depends on the fact that uh, you know what features do they provide but if you look at uh, the number of pops from microsoft it is 129 currently so a bit lesser than uh, uh, than that of um, uh, amazon cloud front right so that's something to know and one more thing is in case of uh, azure for microsoft and verizon if you are taking the cdn from these two you will get to know the different pop locations but in case of akamai they are not really exposing the exact location and they have mentioned it in their document as well right so uh, these are few things and you know before we uh, wrap up this video we should also understand about something called region pairing so azure also has a concept of region pairing right why this particular concept was introduced if you have got let's say your data stored in mumbai region for example in india right now if you want to have a redundancy of this data in a you know in a different region you would probably go ahead and store it in another region within india right simple logic behind that is while you replicate your data into another region you are still not violating any of the legal standards right because both the regions are there in the same country so for example if you if you keep your uh, primary uh, you know primary site as mumbai and you keep replication of your data or uh, replica of your data in chennai or pune you are following the same legal boundaries right so in order to in order to facilitate that uh, azure has got something called paired regions and you can go ahead and look here that how they have actually paired it right so within India, if you see Central India, South India, West India, South India. So the, the idea is that there are certain services which utilize this. So, you know, if you if you say that, you know, I want to I want to keep a replica of the data in the other region, it would be kept. I'll cover that more in another video, but just wanted to give you an introduction of this, of course. So I hope you understand that what are regions, what are availability zones within Azure and how do they differ a bit uh, you know, uh, in terms of, um, you know, their implementation from AWS. That should give you a good idea. With that understanding, we'll move forward to other concepts uh, in Azure and we'll try to see demo of all of that. Uh, with that, I'll close this video. I request you to like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you are liking this series, just please share it with your friends. We will bring more to you very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. By the way, one more thing, we have got a very good video coming on AWS savings plans. There are a lot of confusion around this and with savings plans, AWS has actually changed the way they were doing pricing altogether. They have brought a lot of flexibility, but it is really, really important to understand how does that work. So we'll talk about that in our next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye, guys.